National storyteller William Winnett takes us back in time to tell us more about this trailblazer known as the Artful Dodger. Somebody said, what's it feel like to be a black quarterback? He said, I don't know. I've never been a white one. The Southeastern Conference's first black quarterback, Condridge Holloway, may have never played at UT if it wasn't for his mother. She was a high character person and Condridge took a lot of that character with him. Condridge was a triple threat in high school, playing basketball, football, and excelling at baseball. He was so good, he was drafted fourth overall by the Montreal Expos in the 1971 MLB draft. Condridge was only 17 at the time, and his mother wanted him to pursue higher education, so taking her advice, he turned down a $50,000 bonus from the Expos to play quarterback at UT. We had a freshman game against Notre Dame in November of 1971, and people were just trying to figure out who Condridge was. And that freshman game drew 30,000 people to Neyland Stadium, which as big a freshman game as I can remember. During his first years at UT, freshmen were ineligible to play varsity football, but history was made on September 9, 1972, when Condridge took the field against Georgia Tech. Being a quarterback at Tennessee is, is hard regardless of who you are. There was a lot of pressure on him, but he came through and made some plays you really had to see to believe. His evasive prowess eventually garnered him the nickname of the Artful Dodger. They couldn't tackle him. He'd get out on the edge and he'd make a miss. People grabbing at air to get him down. Condridge led the Vols to bowl games in each of his three varsity seasons. Along with his football career, he was also UT's first black baseball player, earning all SEC and all American honors as a shortstop. He took all the arrows for everybody else. He, he was the first. Condridge was drafted in the 12th round as a defensive back for the New England Patriots in 1975, but opted to go to the Canadian Football League instead. There, he won two Grey Cup championships, the equivalent of the NFL Super Bowl with both the Ottawa Rough Riders and Toronto Argonauts, earning most outstanding player honors in 1982. After his retirement from the CFL, Condridge eventually made his way back to UT as part of the school's athletic department and leaves behind a legacy of triumph. For 51 years, Condridge has been the measuring stick for quarterbacks. He's one of the most popular players ever. I don't know any player, even Peyton Manning, that has the respect from the fan base that, that Condridge does, even after 51 years. I think it's high time that Condridge got recognition in front of 100,000 people about what he contributed to UT football and to SEC football.